good morning. Um, today I'm talking about cutting off the bad influences in our lives, which is temptation. Um, let's see. So I brought with me, I didn't get this at TJ Maxx, but I bought myself a new shirt a couple weeks ago. And here we go, it has a price tag on it. Um, so, I mean, this price tag needs to be on at the store, and then whenever the, the buyer, you know, gets it, they can cut it off, because you wouldn't want it on to wear all day, plus, you know, that wouldn't look good, and then plus it would be, like, scratching you, like this plastic tab, and it would look kind of funny and be uncomfortable. So, when someone purchases clothes or anything, they cut off the tag. Um... I will do that. <laughs> well, first of all, um, when the Israelites moved to the Promised Land, this was from the Old Testament, um, their brand new home, God gave them similar instructions um, to cut off themselves from um, the bad influences that were there, uh, like the idols um, and just different things that were going on there. Um, this didn't even print out half the things. <laughs> but the Old Testament teaches us what happens when we don't cut off bad influences in our lives. They will never leave us alone, and they will always be snare for us. So what we need to do is cut off bad influences and temptations and do the best we can. Um, where is that? And I'm going to cut that off. There we go. Um... So, um, I mean, some of that needs maybe could be uh, something we watch or a friend who's a bad influence or um, just something that, that irritates you. Um, it'll constantly, you know, irritate you until you cut it off. Um, so we just need to be aware of some things in our lives and, and try to get rid of those. So. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that was, that was okay. <laughs>